players in the that have worn number one in NBA history. Two hundred and fifty nine players have worn that number. Welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of the Mitch Mob ENT podcast, the best sports podcast in New Jersey. For today, I got another one for you. Players that have worn the number one. So if you haven't seen any of them before this, players that have worn double zero, players that have worn zero, yeah, go check those videos out. This is the criteria. They have to have worn this number for at least five seasons now this is like i said the last video it's going to keep getting difficult it's going to keep getting dicey it's going to get hard y'all going to have different viewpoints which i love we could have the conversation i'm here for it this is a safe space to have our conversations everybody is entitled to their opinion players in the that have worn number one in nba history 259 players have worn that number 259 players have worn that number. Yeah, this is why I have to have some type of criteria of five season minimum of wearing that jersey number. Because that would be, to try to choose five players out of 259, with this talent that has we have seen in the NBA, yeah, that would have been too tough. It still was tough, but coming at number five of this list for me, had to be Chris Bosh. We're going to start off with Chris Bosh at number five. He only wore this number with the Miami Heat. He just made the cut with the five years of wearing that number with them. As a Heatle, six-time All-Star. Obviously, you know he was a champ. 19 points per game, eight rebounds, Hall of Famer. Number four, none other than Chauncey Big, 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 big Shot Billups. Yes, sir. Some would argue the best player on that championship team. Some would say Ben Wallace. I think it was between both of them. Either way, Chauncey Billups, shout out to his career in general. We're probably going to do a video just talking about his career because it wasn't, it didn't start off like like we saw at the end of him being a champion. It did not, it did not start that way. He had some rocky roles to get to the point where he was at and kept pushing and kept putting in the work. So shout out to Chauncey Billups. With his career, five-time All-Star, three-time All-NBA, two-time All-Defensive, Finals MVP in 04, number three. Some say he might be too high, might be too low. I'd love to hear y'all thoughts on this one. Number three, I got Derrick Rose, D. Rose, a.k.a. Pooh. Some some people call him Pooh. People that know him from Chicago. If I'm not allowed to call you that, D. Rose, I apologize. But I'm just going by what I see and what I've heard throughout your career. That's one of your nicknames is Pooh. Three-time All-Star, All-NBA, MVP, Rookie of the Year. Peak D-Rose was averaging 20.7 assists. Easy. Easy. That was minimal. And just to show, like, the man still has talent. I know he he's on he's on what team? Um, Memphis? He with Memphis right now. I wonder... If he comes back, if they're going to play him, I wonder what they're going to do with him in Memphis if he's playing again next year. But just to go to show, you know, D. Rose, all the injuries we know about that. big One of the biggest what ifs ever in NBA history. But his career high in points was in 2018 with the Minnesota Timberwolves. Not even at his peak. He had a 50 piece, a 50 burger. With the Timberwolves, that's on the back end of his career. 2018 is what? Six years ago? Yeah. Derrick Rose, number three. Number two, Anthony Penny Hardaway. This this top three list right here, uh, these players that have worn number one are all in that conversation for biggest what ifs. Because if Penny was healthy and Shaq stayed, that, that comma right there, they win two, three rings. We may never see Shaq and Kobe. Yeah. Penny Penny Hardaway was like that. And from all accounts, from what Shaq has said, Penny has said, Kobe has said, Shaq and Penny were more 
they were more compatible than Shaq and Cole. I think, as Shaq has alluded to, if Shaq got his money and it wasn't other people that had input on the conversation and his decision on where he went, I think Shaq and Penny probably would have stayed together for for a while. And imagine that combo. Eight, ten years of Shaq and Penny. <laughs> Penny Hardaway, four-time All-Star, three-time All-NBA, 15 points per game. He had a top five MVP finish in 1995-96 season. Now, coming at number one, none other than Tracy McGrady, T-Mac, so cold, so cold. If I remember correctly, Cole said that was his hardest matchup. T-Mac, Hall of Famer, seven-time All-Star, seven-time All-NBA, two-time scoring champ. For his career, he had 19 points per game, 18,000 points. He had total 62-point game as a career high, and we all know and remember the 13 points in 33 seconds. I, that's one of those moments you remember where you were at. Because, like, for me, I remember I was at home. I'm thinking the game was over. I'm about to go turn on Jimmy Neutron, turn on something else, a movie, go outside, probably in the backyard, act like I'm at the finals, shooting a game winner. I was going to do something else. And then he went and did that. Where was you at? when T-Mac had the 13 points in 33 seconds. Still one of the most iconic set of plays ever in NBA history. NBA is old. It's been here for a minute. NBA is, you know, they got the AARP card. They, they've been here for a while. T-Mac, that 13 points in 33 seconds is still one of the most memorable, iconic plays, ends of a game, set of plays, clutch plays, however you want to label it. In NBA history, that's my top five of plays that have worn number one. Honorable mention. We got Muggsy Bowles. We got D-Book, Steven Jackson. And of course, we talk about Les Slim, Big Vic, Wimby, Victor Wimbyama. He ain't hit that five season threshold. But when five seasons happen, I might just have to do a video again just, just for just for the number one to rank Victor up there. Because Victor gonna be up there for top players that have won number one and top players probably in NBA history, if we being honest. Hey, y'all know the vibes. If you stay ready, you ain't gotta get ready. Bench mob, we out. Peace.